How is everyone out there? I'm sorry I've been away for a while. Kind of lost my mojo. Uh, I had some family medical things going on. My nephew that had the throat cancer, Matthew, Matt as we called him, he was struggling greatly and he had some severe issues with the throat cancer that popped up and eventually on September the 15th he lost his battle with the throat cancer and it took him so he suffered mightily I don't even know if that's the right word to use but it ate him up pretty pretty bad but his suffering is over he's not hurting anymore he's in a better world so I'm picking, uh, picking myself back up <clears throat> kind of getting over the shock and the loss and everything and let's look at some things my first video here is gonna look at multiple things a lot of stuff coming out about Comet Ison I've covered this you know back before it was becoming real talked about right now a lot of videos coming out about it a lot of people saying a lot of things about it It's all the pictures that I've looked at, the newest things that I can get my hands on, any information and whatnot. It's it, it looked like it wasn't going to be what they thought it was. And <clears throat> some of these will be from uh, independent telescopes and analysis. It still looks like it might be brightening it up. Is it? as it goes you know, towards the sun. Now it went past Mars and uh, you know there might have been a little interaction between it and Mars. It's not going to hit the Earth. It's going to be too far away. It could interact with the sun you know and if we've got some things pointed at our planet you know it could could make it erupt a CME and that could enhance your earthquake possibility we'll just have to see you know what is pointing at us at the time of its going by the Sun it's telling you right here it's going to make its close approach to Mars six and a half million miles on October the first. Well that's already passed, so it's it's already done that. And whatever happened, however they interacted or didn't, you know, they've got all the information pretty much. Now it's gonna be in November whenever it it grazes the sun. And you're going to be able to, probably going to be able to see it more than likely. They don't know, you know, as they say, how bright it'll be for sure until it gets a little more farther down the road. It is going to be considered a sun grazer and it passed close to the sun in November. You get your little diagram of its orbit right here. Seen plenty of them. Now they, they theorize it's going to get about 800,000 miles from the surface of the sun. You go on and read this article. It's talking about the naming of it and stuff. You got your little video you can watch here. It, it, it's not saying it's a 1680 great comet, but it's saying it's, it's got a real similar orbit of it. It resembles, you know, striking resemblance to that. So some, some people have said, you know, it, that was it in 1680. Well, we weren't here, we don't really know, but it could or could not be.
Now you got stereo. And even without the government funding and whatnot, I still say they're getting their data. That's just me. That's what I believe. It's going to pass, as they say, in front of the sun, behind one of the satellites, and they may see extreme ultraviolet emission, like Lovejoy. And it's going to, close approach is, is supposed to be about 40 million miles, under half the distance between the planet and the sun. That's, a, that's pretty far out there, folks. So, you heard some people talk about, well, it's dragging a bunch of debris, and you know we might get, we might get some stuff. Well, that remains to be seen. It is a possibility. But I would worry more about a possibility of interaction with the sun, which causes a CME. Yeah, we we you know we did have a. A uh, little Russian fireball, you remember that one? Detonated. I, I just don't really see it with ice on. Um, my feeling is ice on will be something to look at if it doesn't disintegrate first. We're not going to fall into the same uh, getting ahead of appointed times like Comet Elenin. You know, we're just we're going to have to realize that we're still in God's timeline. There's many things that haven't happened yet that have to happen. So as far as us getting plowed by debris from ice on, I'm just not seeing that yet. And I can say what I believe for sure is ice on is not wormwood. It just it's just not time for for that yet and like I say the a CMA if it interacts with the sun and causes it to shoot something out I think would be more worrisome than uh, rocks falling and hitting the ground or detonating over cities. I do believe these are signs that we should pay attention to signs of things to come And that's what I'm finding on ISON. And I, I believe the. I've seen different dates. Even the orbit diagram has one. I've, I've seen anywhere from the 20th to the 28th. So. That's supposedly something that you can be thinking about in November, is that, that period of time. And we're going to go. And we're going to look at this is another little article about the power grid drill in November. Now they're not going to shut down the grid from everything that I've read and seen. You know, what they are doing is they're going to be practicing for a possible grid going down for some reason. You know, you can get cyber attack, you can get an. Uh, you get an actual EMP attack, electromagnetic pulse attack, um, or you could get some type of natural uh, disaster that takes it down, and you get a cyber attack. There's all different uh, ways that, that that you could bring really bad times on by taking the drill down or the grid down. So this drill, you're going to have a lot of companies and you know you're going to have a whole bunch of people involved in it simulating how we're going to react and respond if something like that were to happen. So we haven't, that I know of, seen a drill like this before. So I take this drill to be that somebody does know something that, that's probably going to happen in the future and this is just a dry run for it 
but I don't see him shutting the power down. So don't worry that you're going to lose power then. Don't worry that martial law is coming then, because we're still playing in God's timeline. Okay? And we still got some things that's got to go. It's got to happen. They're setting all the chess pieces up on the board. They're laying all the plates and the silverware out on the dining table. They, they are getting ready, but it's, it's just not the actual time. We're getting close to the time. And I told you, Assad wasn't going nowhere. I told you they'd have to kill him. They haven't done that. And this article here is just about how John Kerry is praising the Assad regime for complying by allowing the chemical weapons to be destroyed. <clears throat> Isn't it unusual to have Mr. Kerry complimenting him now when he was really not complimenting him a month ago, huh? And you have to understand, like I said before, those rebels are not just regular people. You know, you can call them mercenaries, whatever you want to do, but there's all different kind of factions in there. And, but in my heart, from everything I've checked into, I feel sure and for certain that the majority of those fighters for the rebels are Al-Qaeda. Uh, we have been dishing out uh, weapons to the rebels, so we have been ar arming Al-Qaeda, who we're supposed to fight against, but they are a force that we actually control that most people don't understand and uh, we make bad things actually happen around the world with the use of al-qaeda and then we have a solution to that which is fighting you know benghazi was was what it was you know it was like a uh, a weapons funnel going on there and you got a dead ambassador and some dead soldiers, didn't you? And you got Miss Clinton not answering any questions about it. But yet they're pumping her for the presidential nomination in 2016, and you mark my words, she'll get it. I mean, can you, can you understand how down the crapper we are? The government shutdown is just a, uh, a play. These guys are all corrupt all of them to the tooth and nail they're just playing back and forth back and forth scare and worry scare and worry they're gonna go ahead and approve that debt ceiling they've done it all the time they're just gonna jack around here for a few more days and they're gonna cut some type of crappy deal supposed compromise which allows them to borrow more money Mark my words, we're not going to default on what we owe. You're going to see the same thing as last year. We had a bunch of name call and everything. We may not have had a shutdown like this, but you know, as far as raising the debt ceiling, we had a bunch of back and forth, back and forth. Are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? And they did it. We're seeing the same replay over and over and over again, except you got a little government shutdown now. <clears throat> Um, I, you know, as far as Obamacare goes, I, I'm against it. You know, I'm not against helping people. I'm against the system that he's put forth, and he basically installed uh, he, they, whoever you want to say, Supreme Court justices that went ahead and approved it and made it into a law. That's why he stacked it like that. Um, so. that's what's going to happen. They're going to prove everything, they're going to keep blaming each other until then, and then they're going to do a deal, and you're going to get more more in debt so they can pay their, their filthy bills and uh, steal more money from us. So I uh, wish every, each and every one of you well. Shield yourself with the armor of God. Empower yourself. God bless every one of you.